Good morning. So before I start off this Valentine's Day inviting your lover meditation, let's just start off with a song here. I'm going to be looking at the lyrics because I do not have it memorized. Here we go. Welcome to your life. There's no turning back. Even while you sleep, we will find you acting on your best behavior. Turn your back on Mother Nature. Everybody wants to rule the world. It's my own desire. It's my own remorse. Help me to decide. Help me make the most of freedom in our pleasure. Nothing ever lasts forever. Everybody wants to rule the... There's the room where the light won't find you. Hold me hands while the walls come tumbling down. When they do, I'll be right behind you. I'm so glad we almost made it. So sad they had to fade it. Everybody wants to rule the world. So now that your hearts are open, which is the most important thing <laughs> to do this little meditation, it starts in there. And so more than often, people attempt to attract a partner, a lover, by the idea in the head and how it's exactly supposed to be and be experienced and so forth. And I'm going to share an example with you and then just get right to the meditation and just keep my mouth shut. So, for example, I have a child. I have a six and a half year old son whom is my lover, meaning in the sense that while he's not my, you know, lover, husband, you know, wife, husband, or whatever that category, we're very playful and we connect. And while I have been single um, and not dating and spending time with, say, a physical lover, in a way, I have been experiencing the connection with my son and the joy with that. And if I were to have a, a wife or a girlfriend or have the experience of family with me, it would still be like that with or without a woman in my life. Does this make sense? So given that example, many of us have experiences of love. It might be with a cat. It might be with a dog. It might be with nature. It might be with something you do in your life that helps you move and feel open and being in your heart, which is why I kind of started this off with a song because music and singing always opens me up. Hello, Terry. Thank you for joining me here. So it's always very important about being in the heart space and first starting from there, whatever you know, lead you there from a song to dancing to movement. A lot of times you'll see me talk, you notice I move because you would get bored. And also it just kind of keeps me energized so I can channel that message through me and be more open in my heart. But whatever leads you to your heart is your permission to, to um, activate yourself to be open and receptive to say to a Valentine's Day um, lover. So what I'd like you to do, if you can do that unless you're driving, is what you do is just have your hands open palms like this, as if you're open to receive. And I'm gonna use my Tibetan bowl here to kind of guide you in this experience, okay? Because I know that many people in this moment in time, outside of say it being the pandemic, you'll see people going on dates, you'll see People getting married. <laughs> You'll see people um, getting roses and everything else. So part of the collective is very romantic. Um, very much of the collective 
is also experiencing the opposite of that. And that is where it's loneliness. It's that I'm missing something and feeling disconnected. And more often, people will experience separation versus not having a lover. A big difference. But what I mean is people will blame that they don't have somebody, a lover or partner for this emptiness. And yet, um, there are many people in relationships feel very disconnected. They're driving right next to that person and they don't feel that person's presence and they feel like this loneliness. And just imagine this, feel into this. If you were to walk by somebody down a street, I mean, I know it's different with a mask on these days, but let's just say without the mask or just if you could pick up on energy and you saw a person looking down, you saw a person not happy, you saw a person not smiling, you saw a person having low energy, would they or were they not come off as attractive or accessible? Would they or were they not um, appear as though that they're approachable and that they would be receptive to you? You see where I'm coming from? So you want to be in that state of already having. You want to be in that state of already being a lover. You want to be in that state already of that becoming. That's why I led with the song first and why I recommend trying to do whatever you can do to move into your heart space, okay? So let's just move right into this and I'm gonna start off with my Tibetan bowl and hope you have your hands open. Here we go. So connect to something that really brings you joy. When you think of that thing, whatever it is, when you smile, imagine that smile moving all the way down your throat, into your heart, to expand it even more throughout your entire beingness. And feel that in your entire body, feeling your heart expand, glow. Connecting to the experience that just makes you laugh and open and loving. As if when you walk out today, when you talk to people, you're going to be radiant. You're going to be smiling. You're going to be glowing. Because you're carrying this happiness with you. And you're this person that people want to be around, that people are interested in, that people are attracted to. And you're accessible because you're open and you trust your heart and you trust the direction in which life and your heart and love takes you. Imagine this offering that you are now. Just imagine this offering that you are already. I imagine what you're offering versus what you hope to get or attract. Imagine it being where, as if you're this energetic, loving, open bubble. And just feel that space in your heart open up to where you know when people meet you they receive value, joy, love, light, and expansion. That when people are around you, they experience that you take them on a journey, a new narrative from what they experience day to day. That they feel this lightness in their body because of your offering, because of your smile, because you're of your positive energy. So feel into that space and that openness. Now in that space, just imagine it's already created with or without a lover. What you experience by say making love, having companionship, being on a dinner date, would be the state of mind anyway. It's not contingent on 
a person outside of yourself. It's a knowingness of your offering, of your feelings in your body. In fact, remember those romantic times, those ama amazing dates, those amazing connections, even with just say friends, where you're lit up from the conversation. You're text messaging because you still feel good. It lasts for days. What's lasting for days? The event? What you experience with that person? Or what you're experiencing? And how open you are? Feel into that space. Because that's the true space. That's true reality being created within you. Not outside of yourself. Not because of a lover. Because you're in that state yourself. You have become the lover yourself. You've become the gift yourself. You've become the most attractive person in the room, with or without a person. So feel into snowiness and remember who you are. And allow yourself to glow. And not just do this today, every day. And play with this to where you might wear sexy clothes, to where you might put on perfume or cologne or do other things as if you would if you were all ready to be going on a date. Be all the fun things that you would experience as if you were with a lover. If you can and there's places to go to and you feel safe and you feel open, take yourself out on a date tonight as well. Be that ultimate lover now, because it is you. You're the lover, and it's within. Does this make sense? This is when we're most attractive, and as I mentioned, mentioned in this, people wanna go on a journey, especially today. People wanna expand and be creative with you and look at life from a different lens. When you communicate, they want to hear your narrative that comes from positive perspectives of see the world in a way that feels safer and more compassionate, more understanding and loving to even where social media doesn't matter, what your neighbors are saying doesn't matter, what your family and friends are saying doesn't matter but what the lover within and what the experience you're, you're having and choose to have is all that matters. Stay with that, be within that, be in that space. Because you, many of us have had this with intense connections, amazing lovers to where we feel that energy after we've been apart for a week. That's us, that's our energy field. We are the ultimate lovers, ourselves. So enjoy this day, enjoy tomorrow, enjoy your heart, enjoy being your a most amazing Valentine's lover. Have a great day. And please, to sh and please show us to others who you feel can experience more love in a lover and a Valentine's Day gift. Bye.